Well, that's bigger than I was expecting. Uh, it's also like horribly mangled. But yeah, that is a lot bigger than I was expecting that to be. Yeah, so this thing's huge. Um, before I get into this though, I wanted to get a couple of, oh my God, orders of business out of the way. A lot of people have been asking me where I got these Prime figures from. So to answer that question, it was Hasbro Pulse. Um, they finally have a flat rate to Canada. They don't charge you like 90 bucks shipping anymore. So that's, you know, that's awesome. For the people who kept telling me that King Atlas, you know, this thing, this thing is a repaint of Machine Wars Starscream and not Skyquake. Skyquake actually came out five years before Machine Wars Starscream. So this is based off of that. Also, this is it next to MPM Starscream. It's massive. It is huge. It's bigger than Starscream. <laughs> Not heavier though, it felt heavier in the box, but this is still, anyways. And I highly recommend you at least try to pick one of these up. This thing is wicked. Like it's a really solid figure. It's got some issues, but really solid. Love, love the jet mode on this. You'll find out more on Saturday. And then this has just been some fun. <laughs> really, I like scoop. Anyways, you're not here for that. You're here to see what's in this box, which is on the floor because I don't have space in front of me. Where's my knife? I've lost my knife again. Pain. Found it, it was on the other side of the room. So fun fact, this sat at the border for a good two and a half weeks. Ugh. For some apparent reason. I don't know why, but it did. I just cut through the shipping label and almost cut my finger off. Okay. I just ran into the Dark of the Moon arc. Ooh, ooh. Bubble wrap. My favorite. What? Missile set standard grade. And it's two missiles. Interesting. Uh, we'll start with the figure for some reason I'm the most excited for. I got Road Rage. Masterpiece one because I don't care about the kingdom ones. <laughs> they don't look that great in my opinion So I've always wanted this mold in masterpiece. I just like the red a little bit more than the blue So I went with the red Corvette stinger. I do I do quite like this car too. the 70s to 80s Corvette I think that's what this is. My dad doesn't like it very much. and He's the car nut, but I do so it's cool comes with twin cast, which is nice But we got that And then we have Why's that box bigger than okay? We are diving more into Planet X. This is the Sky Warp. And I've also ended up getting Magnus, but Magnus's box is smaller. Interesting. But nevertheless, hopefully these two are better than Ironhide and Ratchet. A lot of people have told me that Ironhide and Ratchet are their worst figures that they've made. So I ended up starting really low. So my expectations are still kind of low for these. So hopefully they get blown away because these are cool. I love these box. Why did the old one? Why did Ironhide and Ratchet come in such terrible boxes? I feel like they were rushed because this these boxes are amazing God, I love these I'd buy these if they're on the shelf. They're cool. They're going there You can't see them. That's fine. But then my invoice The thing I don't know if you can read what that says But this is Warpatron this thing was so heavily di discounted that it, I'm gonna save this for an actual like thing I might do, but this thing was so heavily discounted that I just, I've always wanted one. It's great. I know there's a knockoff that's bigger. I know there are better Bruticus figures out there. I just really like how this one looks and the uh, English and the collector's cards through MGO's reviews were always funny. <laughs> Um, but this is what these missiles are for, is for Warbitron. Oh, I'm very excited for this. I mean, I am more excited for Road Rage because it's actually official, so I know that that's going to be pretty decent quality. This is a bit hit or miss, and the Planet X figures are going to be a bit more hit and miss, but um, that's all that's in there. That's probably the last unboxing for a while because that's everything that I ended up ordering. 
Freaking Toys R Us canceled my Rodimus Prime pre-order because they're not gonna get the stock until August now. They were supposed to get it this week, I think, the end of this week. Um, so that's not gonna be coming in. But they said to me that I'll be able to price match it if I ever find it in store for what I ordered because I didn't pay retail. So that's gonna be really cool. But yeah, the next review, like I said, will be this dude. Um, I also have another things that make Transformers fans cringe short in the works and another peak fan modes because well, it's scoop. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those and I will see you next time. Bye bye.